of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. It is a big idea, a new world order. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. Global governance at last. Is it one world? The central bankers in charge. But aren't we all just living and dying for what the central banks do? As for me, get me liberty or get me dead! Now I give you uh, James David Manning, a chief pastor at the Otla World Missionary Church, reaches millions of people every month online in a big church there in town and has a huge soup kitchen program that's non-government run for the citizens of the area. And, of course, they attack the welfare state. That's why the establishment hates them. Um, on the 123rd Street in New York City and has been uh, a, a Otla since 1981. And uh, he's a very well-spoken gentleman and, and, and very knowledgeable. I didn't think Obama was as bad as he was saying five years ago when I had him on and then three years ago. But it's certainly starting to get really scary. And he, he prayed for me, and I appreciate that. Uh, when we were in New York, and he prayed, because what he laid out is exactly true, and I want him to repeat that, uh, because I had that same feeling before I saw his video. I had this thought, God laid it into my mind, my spirit, hey, buddy, you're anti-gun. Uh, uh, you're fighting the anti-gun guys. They will use a anti-gunner to kill you, a crazy, to then say, see, even this pro-gunner got killed by somebody with a gun. And uh, he said God laid that upon his heart. So I wanted to get him on to talk about this and give his basic take on what's happening. Pastor, thanks for popping in with us today. Cousin Alex, thanks for having me today. Glad to be on your broadcast. Well, I've been ranting and raving. You've just seen the speech, high-fiving, using kids. What is your take on what's happening? Well, uh, there's several things that's happened. Let me just point up the fact that I am convinced that the CNN uh conference that they had or the interview that they had after your being on there with Piers Morgan was a direct attempt to suggest to some crazy loon out there to take you out. I'm confident of that. And uh, that's the reason why I pray. And I think all Americans need to understand what they're trying to do. They want to silence you. You have become the voice for patriots and Americans, for gun owners and Americans, for the Second Amendment, you are indeed the spokesman for that. I'm, I'm surprised that the NRA has not called you over and enlisted you to help them uh, to protect Americans and their rights to own guns. You are the spokesman for a well-armed militia. And uh, Obama doesn't want that. And we need to be aware of the fact that Obama is the type of person, and the people we're dealing with at present, they are the type of people that will take you out. They have no problems seeing you put in a grave and sending someone to take you out, or even sending someone from the, uh, perhaps from the, from the military or some other organization to take you out. So um, that's the reason why I prayed, Alex. Now, you asked me another question a few moments ago about what's happening with Obama using children as a shield, like Saddam Hussein did uh, in his conference today. Is that what you're asking me about? Yes, sir. Yeah, well, he, he, that's, that's what he did. I think that he, he is he's tear jerking the American people, tugging at their heartstrings by putting those children up there and using them as pawns. It looked like a chess game with Obama being the king and, and Joe Breakdancer Biden being the queen and those little children being the pawns around him pushing forward his executive orders on gun control, taking our weapons. That's what that was all about today. How did you know Obama was going to be so bad? Because, I, I mean, I didn't support him, but I, uh, I didn't imagine he was this evil uh, four years ago. You know, one of the things, Alex, I tell people all the time that I am 
a spiritual individual. And people, a lot of people have problems with that. Some people are able to understand it. But I saw spiritually, Alex, in this man, the depths of the evil that he represents and that what he would do to this nation. And I began to scream as loud as I could uh, when I first saw him appear on the scene. And then as he moved closer uh, to uh, winning the office of presidency, all, although it illegally and the hysteria around him, I saw that this is an evil man. And, and Alex, it ain't over with yet. It ain't hardly over with yet. We have a lot more evil coming from this man that we have to endure. But I can say this, I'm confident that we will prevail, that he will not win. We will get the victory uh, in this process, but it will not be easily won, and it will not be the faint for the faint of heart to, to, to uh, persevere against what Obama is trying to do to us as a people. Did you notice that, Ob that Biden could hardly stop smiling? He was fighting smiling, and Obama was trying to act sad, but he, he acted like that, you know, he was at the Kentucky Derby in front row seats. I mean, he acted like a pig and you know what? Well, I, I think that Biden finally feels that he's given us some recognition, uh, something that will give him a legacy. I'm not sure exactly what Biden was up about today. Obama was very coy today. He was not his usual ebullient self. And he wasn't quite as arrogant today as he normally is as well. I'll have to look at that again to see and really read what went on there. Well, I saw the cover he was acting uh, coy, but in the eyes, he, he looked he looked evil. I mean, uh, and in fact, we're hearing more of this from his people. You saw the nice Obama. Now you're going to see the real Obama. Well, that's the thing. I think this, this so-called second term that he is employing, that we're going to see the real Obama. We're going to see really what he's made of and uh, the evil. I don't think he's going to make any attempts to hide anything. He, he, I, I'm not surprised that he's not probably promoting Muslim Brotherhood and Islamic ideas more. We're going to see who he really is in this. I saw this four years ago. It's amazing. Uh, we're going to go to break, but I want to ask uh, your take on ways to oppose him and to push for an impeachment. I mean, don't we need to list all the impeachable crimes he's committed and really press Congress to start the impeachment trial? Well, you know, I had a CIA Columbia Obama sedition and treason trial regarding his uh, forged uh, certificate of graduation from Columbia. I explored in depth, Alex, uh, his uh, participation with the CIA, with the Mujahideens in Afghanistan when the Soviet Union invaded them back in 1979, I think it was. As we saw in Katrina, and as we are watching now in New York and New Jersey, the federal government can't and won't help you in a crisis. FEMA ran out of water and MREs in days. Electricity is still off to over one million people. The Red Cross, who is quick to beg for money, is now slow to react. Don't put it off any longer. Get prepared today. While you're on InfoWarsShop.com, check out these other great preparedness items. The Aquapod Kit lets you store up to 65 gallons of water in your bathtub. The Pocket Socket provides you with manual electricity for small electronics like your cell phone. The Life Straw is great for your bug out bag. And check out our complete line of inner food products for great tasting and nutritionally dense foods that have a great shelf life. If you are looking to secure your home in a crisis, you can order Strategic Relocations the film. A great companion to the book Strategic Relocations 3rd Edition and The Secure Home by Joel Skousen. When the time to perform arrives, the time to prepare has already passed. Get prepared now, so if a crisis strikes your home, you and your family will be secure. Go to InfoWarsShop.com. Manning is our guest for one more segment. I want to get him back in the next few weeks for a full hour. Atla.org is his website, A-T-L-A-H. In the next segment, uh, we are now analyzing the vague statements of Obama, but they track and follow uh, exactly what we thought in the proposal. I had this from the Washington Times, where they're just going to take guns whenever they find them in your car, or even if they're legal, and you have no warrants, and then they're going to decide if you get them back and and. Uh, it's the no-fly, no-buy list. It's just they're just going to put you on a no-gun list. 
and it's official. DHS to expand and formalize coordination on gun control efforts. Homeland Security is the takeover arm, and it will now be used to uh, go after gun owners. Okay, uh, Pastor Manning, you got cut off by the break, and you were getting into uh, the public trial you put on to uh, demonstrate all this. It's the same thing with uh, a move towards impeachment, getting behind congressmen that are talking about it, uh, getting the points out about why we should impeach. We've got to get on the offensive. What is your take on ways to turn the tide? Because uh, because these guys are coming for us. Well, you know, the impeachment idea is a good idea. Whether or not we can succeed with that is the question because, you know, the Senate has to approve of it. And the Senate is right now controlled by the Democrats, Harry Reid. And so I'm not sure you're going to be able to actually put an impeachment through on Obama. But it will be at least something to keep the, the nation aware of the fact that this man is indeed evil and probably force him to make a move or force the American people to just outright reject him, no confidence in him, whether the impeachment goes forward or not. So I think the action is a good action. Absolutely. Well, you know, nobody thought the Senate was going to go after Nixon, but then they got the votes. It never even had to go to the Senate because they had the hearings in the House. We need real fast and furious hearings. We need real hearings on the psychotropic drugs. We need real hearings on all of his insider trading and the Democrats' insider trading. We need to get on the offensive with these guys. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. And that's the move I think is most important, that we go on the offenses. Right now, we've been defending against the thing. He comes out and does something, and we react to it. Well, that needs to stop. It needs to stop immediately. And we need to move against him confidently, not being afraid of all the stereotypes and all the things that have protected him over the past three years. So offense is indeed the, the defense that we need to employ against Obama at this time. Why do you think they're in such a hurry to get the guns? I mean, the Germans are demanding their gold back. We know that they're they're raising taxes. The economy's going to crater. Uh, I mean, what is Obama's end game? I think the economy uh, getting ready to crater is perhaps one of the pressing reasons why Obama wants to take the guns, because we're going to see ourselves uh, in another year or so out in the streets begging for bread, or at least the economy being so cratered that people will be unemployed and uh, and people will be ready to take to the streets. So that's the reason why I need guns out of the hands of people. But the other thing, Alex, I told you that... Um, when I was on your broadcast, I think three or four years ago, that Obama does not want to give up this power that he has. And unlike any other president, he's closer to and, and employs more power than any other president in the history of this nation. And uh, he very possibly sees the opportunity to stay in office as long as he possibly can. Martial law is one way. And if calling for martial law, he can have guns on the street. So take them out of the way right away, remove that obstacle, and then deploy the other kinds of things he wants to do. You know, a congressman has pointed it out. You pointed it out so eloquently about Obama's the king, Biden's his queen, the little kids are pawns. We've got to come up with a 3D graphic of that or something for the nightly news, Pastor. But, I mean, I think Obama's got a problem overreaching using these little kids like pawns. I mean, this was a sickening display. It, 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 that's exactly the kind of stuff Saddam Hussein pulled. Normally, I can stomach a lot of stuff, Alex, and uh, when Obama has crowds of black people or Hispanic people or whoever behind him, women or whoever, I mean, I can deal with it. It's just politics. It's, it, he's promoting himself. They want an opportunity to be there. But this was a terrible misuse, a bastard misuse of these children today and calling their names and using them to pro promote his diabolical plans, I thought was just off the charts. Well, you're right. Uh, again, uh, Pastor Manning, we've only got about a minute left. Anything else you think is important to add for folks? Well, I, I want to ask America to pray for you, Alex. I mean, I don't think people realize just how serious this issue is. Obama wants our guns. He wants this nation. He wants to trash the Constitution. And you are a powerful voice that have fired up the American people. And uh, people need to stand with you. They need to pray for you. Uh, that God will sustain you through this battle that's ahead of us. So my one request before leaving today is that all Americans would bow their knee and their heads in continual prayer for your safety and your abilities to keep doing what you're doing. Wow, thank you, Pastor. We need to pray for you as well and for everybody fighting against evil. But I know it's the prayers that are sustaining me. From the bottom of my heart, I feel that connection with you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. We'll be right back. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com.
When you're on the site, you can also tune in 